I'm excited to use this because you can use this pre-spawn. Now and, this uh, next bait is something that got me into this. What's up everybody, Adam here back at you with another video and I know it's been a while. Um, it's been snowing here in Maryland and I haven't really got too much time to go outside and fish. But with that being said, I took the time while we were stuck inside. Uh, I ordered a bunch of baits, which I'm gonna be unboxing on this video. And I'm just gonna get right into it. Everything was purchased from Carl's Bait and Tackle. Um, I actually have two boxes worth of baits that we're gonna go ahead and unbox here. But before we get into it, if you like Mystery Tackle Box, Carl's Bait and Tackle, Guggen Squad, or anything like that, hit that like button right now. I'll wait. All right, glad you hit it. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because I put out fishing, hunting, and all kinds of videos. Um, today's video is gonna be an unboxing video because it is currently raining outside as it has been for the past couple days. And if it wasn't raining, it's snowing. But anyway, like I said, I'm not gonna do too much talking. We're gonna jump right into it. First thing first, let me grab my unboxing knife. And uh, yeah, so as, uh, as we all know, the, uh, the spawn is about is among us. The spawn is among us. You know we all have to load up on our baits and get ready for this spring because that's when we capitalize on most of our fishing. It's when the bass are on the beds and it's just it's just everything to some anglers. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing I have here is the Mike Buka Baby Bull Shad in 3.75 inches. It's a slow sinking. Um, bull shad, so like a swim bait. It's got number nine hooks and it weighs about a half an ounce. Um, I haven't used one of these before, but I'm excited because just like I said, the spawn is among us. And uh, so if you put a bull shad or any type of bluegill or imitation bait right in front of the bass while they're uh, spawning and on their beds, guaranteed to be, oh my God, it's gonna be annihilated. Cause you have those bass that are finicky, but then you also have the bass that are um, you know, trying to be predatory. All right, am I saying that right? They're protecting their beds and, and the babies and stuff like that. But anyway, yep, that's the first one. We have the Mike Buka's Baby Bull Shad in, uh, I think it says, what color is this? Yeah, the blue go color. Well, that's the first thing. So the second thing on the list is the, is the 10,000 Fish Death Stalker. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've seen a couple people use this before. I think I've saw one rod use it. And uh, there's a lot of things you can use this to catch uh, fish. This is the aqua flash color. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It's uh, three and a fourth inches and it's a half ounce, just like the baby bull shad. But I'm excited to use this because you can use this pre-spawn and uh, you can, you can fish it shallow, you can fish it deep, you can jig it. There's a bunch of ways you can use this. Um, what you can expect to catch from with this bait, I mean, primarily everything. I mean, I've, I've seen people catch bass on this. I know this will probably catch a pickerel. I've, I mean, I've seen people catch trout with it, perch. This is just a really good overall bait, and uh, I'm excited to use this. I forgot to mention the baby bull shad. This will probably be mostly targeting um, bass. I'll use this to mostly target a bass. I mean, every now and then you'll probably get a pickerel and stuff like that. And you can you can slow retrieve it, you can fast retrieve it, you can jerk it a couple times, it doesn't matter. I mean, chances are you're probably gonna get bit in this upcoming spring with these two baits. And this is, like I said, the death soccer you can use pre-spawn and it's still gonna, still gonna get you some good reaction strikes. Third, um, we're gonna go with what is this? This is the 10,000 fish, 10,000 fish shimmer shad. Can't say it right. 10,000 fish. What we have here is the 10,000 fish shimmer shad. Try saying that. 10,000 fish shimmer shad. Wow. It's in the ghost shad color. Um, it's got these strobe strips in it that's like re refractive. Refractive. I can't even talk, dude. Oh my god. Anyway, it's got these reflective strobe strips inside of you can Texas rig it you can uh, put this on a drop shot you know easy drop shot rig um, you can you can trailer it normally in the spring the shad are kind of dying off and these are like easy easy baits to just you know toss out there and get hits 
The size on this is four inches and you get a four pack of them. Um, if you want more information about these baits, I'll probably make a separate video on just that one so you get more in depth in um, you know, how to use it, how to rig it and stuff. All right, so moving on. All right, we got the 10,000 fish saw crawl. Um, green pumpkin color, it's uh, four inches, comes in a seven pack. It's just your standard, um, you know, crawfish bait. But this one, it says it's an infused with scent and salt. I mean, most most saw blah, 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 most crawfish baits um, come with a certain scent. I just kind of wanted to stay within the um, the brand, the 10,000 fish, and try these out because I haven't tried these out before. I've tried the, uh, the crack and crawl by Guggen Squad, but I wanted to try something new. Um, but yeah, this 10,000 fish saw crawl, green pumpkin. What do we have next? We have the 10,000 fish Sakoshi bug. Now this is the green pumpkin color. Um, again, very versatile bait. Uh, this is in a 2.5 inch style. I think it comes like that when all um, Sakoshi bugs are all 2.5 inches. This is, like I said, the green pumpkin color. You can, uh, you can trailer this, you can drop shot it, you can, um, Fish it weightless, you can, you know, jig it, jig head, put it on a jig head. Ned rig, this is also a great Ned rig bait. I'm excited to use these. I got these actually in my mystery tackle box. Um, this is the first time I've seen it, but I haven't had the green pumpkin color. And I, I'm a sucker for the green pumpkin color. That's my favorite color. Um, probably a lot of fishermen like the green pumpkin color, but that's number one on my list. I gotta get a green pumpkin. I'll get something, like I, get it, I can get it white, I can get it chartreuse, but I gotta get it in the green pumpkin color. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to use the Sakoshi bug as it is uh, very well known by now um, on Instagram, 10,000 fish, Google squad. A lot of people use these, like I said, for drop shotting and Ned rigs. But yeah, that's the 10,000 fish Sakoshi bug. Let's keep moving on. All right, so next thing on our list um, is actually something new and that's not 10,000 fish. This is the salt native beast walker. Um, it's a walking style bait. Again, it's top water. This is called the Beast Walker by Lawson Lindsay um, and Salt Native by Catchco. It's kind of like a, a yeah, you get it. But anyway, um, it's a five inch bait. I'm really excited to use this, especially for the stripers because when they come through here and you see them busting, you throw this guaranteed to be annihilated. Again, if you want to see this, uh, you should hit that subscribe button because I'm definitely going to be using this when the uh, stripers come through and you don't want to miss out on that because I I'll probably, I'll probably order another one of these. I just wanted to get one of them so far, but oh, they have other um, cool colors. This one is the, it's the bullseye color. It's five inches and it's one and three eighths ounce. That's the Beast Walker by Lawson Lindsay. Excited to use it. I'll be using all these baits in a, this upcoming fishing season, so be sure to stay tuned to watch me use them. And I will do in-depth videos on how to fish them and stuff like that. Just hit that subscribe button. Oh, and if you're liking it so far, you like Salt Native, 10,000 Fish, or the Bull Shad, hit that like button for me. I really appreciate it. All right, what's next? We have the Salt Native Skelly Swim. Again, partnered with Lawson Lindsay by Catchco. Sorry. The Salt Native Skelly Swim in the Glitter Bomb color. The Skelly Swim is a cattle tail slash like, you know, swim bait. Yeah, they're three and a half inches and it's a simple bait. You know, you can put it on a jig head, you can throw it weedless, depending on the water depth you want it, you want it to go deeper, put it on a jig head, or you want it to burn on the top or like in the middle, throw it weedless. But it's a soft plastic swim bait really excited to use it. I like the glitter bomb color um, because I actually saw Fishing with Becca using this and uh, shout out Fishing with Becca. But yeah, I saw her using this and she was crushing, crushing the stripers on it. What more do you want with this one, baby? And I thought glitter bomb is pretty cool name. So anyway, yeah, that's the glitter bomb, uh, Skelly Swim. Last but not least, we have the Guggen Squad Poppin' Filthy Frog in the Ghost skill color. 
Now, I already have the filthy frog in the ghost gill color, but not the popping one. You can't go wrong with having a frog in your in your tackle box. You know, you just can't. And, and the Guggen Squad filthy frog, I loved it last year. The filthy frog is a top water style bait, if you don't already know. Um, I'll primarily be throwing it around summertime, and uh, I'll throw it in ponds or by grass or lilies, you know, stuff like that. And that is it for the first box. For the next box, this box is actually a little bit bigger. All right, so the first thing um, I'm gonna show you guys is the, going back to the Lawson Lindsay Salt Native collab and the uh, Couch Co is the Mad Minnow. Now the Mad Minnow I got in Mystery Tackle Box, but I wanted another one because of the simple fact that I think I'll be throwing this a lot and I if I lose it, I have another one. Um, but yeah, jerk bait style um, bait. It's in the all natural color. Like I said, it dives about three to five feet. It weighs about one ounce. And um, yeah, I'll be throwing this probably to target stripers or anything really that wants to bite it. Again, five inches, colors all natural. Mad Minnow, Lawson Lindsay Salt Native by Catch Go. Next is the, well I have two of them actually, the Casting Spoon by Salt Native, Austin Lindsay, you know, all that good stuff. I got it in the silver and then I got it in the gold. Um, their size is 2.25 inches. Oh, and if I didn't already say, it's a half ounce. I mean, it says it on top there, half ounce. But, like I said, um, you can't have a tackle box and not have spoons in there. I mean, everything eats spoons. So yeah, I'll be throwing these in the surf probably for bluefish, for stripers, for mackerel, like everything eats these things. Um, I got two of them because the gold and the silver, they're just they're just top baits, right? That, that's the top bait colors, gold and silver, when you go to a spoon. But let's just keep going. What's next? Oh, I'll probably, I'm gonna show you this, but we already went over it in the first box. I got more skelly swims just because I felt like I had to get skelly swims again because you just can't have enough swim baits. The glass minnow and the spiked root beer color. Glass minnow being this one, the spiked root beer being this one. It's a soft plastic swim bait. You can fish a jig head, Texas style, whatever, whatever you want to do. And yeah. Alright, so what's next is another small bait. It's the Bucktail Jig by Salt Native Lost and Lindsay, made by Catch Go, blah, blah, blah. It's a hair jig. Um, again, it goes along with the spoon. You can't have a spoon and um, not have a jig in your box. I've seen Lost and Lindsay actually use this. You can tip this with fish bites. Um, you can put live shrimp on there. You can do whatever you want. You just have to have one in your box for that time you want to use the jig. Next. Staying in the same brand is the Salt Native Skelly Shrimp. Now this is a soft plastic shrimp. Again, collaboration with Lawson Lindsay. I'm not gonna say that anymore. You guys know by now. Uh, Salt Native and you see Lawson Lindsay on the back of the box. It just gets, grabs my attention because you can literally pull it out of the box and just start using it. It's already got a hook. You don't have to have a special hook for it. Like it's already like pre-made. You just pull it out and use it. And I got this color, it's called Iced Out, because one, I like the name Iced Out, and two, because it's kind of like a, I don't know, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the, like the brown and chartreuse tail color one, but this one kind of seems more realistic to me, to be like a, you know, white or like clear, iridescent, like Iced Out um, color. Anyways, 3.5 inches. Um, I don't know what the weight is, does it say on here? No, it doesn't say it on here, however, I'm excited to use it just like I am the rest of this stuff, but let's just keep going. All right, so in this next one, I got two of them. Um, these kind of look similar to the, the Shimmer Shad, but they're not. These are the Shimmer Swimmer, not the Shimmer Shad. Um, <laughs> it's hard to say it, I don't know why. But I have the glass color and the ghost color. They are in a four pack. I mean, you can twitch it, you can put it on a jig head, weighted, you can throw it weightless, you can put it as a trailer. I mean, there's so many things you could do with this bait. 
and the rest of the um, you know swim bait style baits it's just you know you have to have these in your arsenal I can't have enough swim bait style baits I mean you're gonna throw them they're gonna rip you're gonna lose some but yeah let's just keep moving the next thing we're gonna do is the 10,000 fish Yoda worm again I got two of them because you're gonna rip them you're gonna lose them you know the vibes Texas crawl collar green pumpkin like I said before I gotta grab something that's in the green pumpkin color and then I'll grab something in a different color I've never used before First time I've seen these uh, Euro worms was in my mystery tackle box. Um, I liked them, but I just had to get them in my green pumpkin color, and then I grabbed something else that I haven't used before. But the Yoda worm, it's uh, by 10,000 fish, as you can see here, and it's 4.75 inches. It's got like this tickle tail. I know you've probably heard of it. You can put it on a shaky head. You can use it as a drop shot. You can Texas rig it. It's uh, you can't really go wrong with this bait. There's so many things you can do with it. And let's just keep going. Whew. All right, so what we have next is the, the Biospawn Exo Ribbon. Um, again, I was introduced this by having it in my mystery tackle box. I liked it a lot. Um, it comes, I think, eight in a pack. Yeah, eight in the pack, they're seven inches. This color is actually called the sprayed glass color. I mean, I don't know if the light's gonna be able to pick that up, but it's got like these purple flakes. It's kind of like brownish. I've used it before, I've caught bass on it. And uh, it's got this Biosent technology stuff in it. You, I've, you probably heard of Biospawn by now, but this is um, definitely a good, a good thing to use. You can Carolina rig it, you can drop, drop shot it, you can uh, shaky head. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with this bait. I, I say that about everything, but it really is. You kind of like, as you're a fisherman, you just kind of realize like, you kind of make your own rules and you kind of make your own like way of doing things. It's cool, I don't know. That's why I like fishing. So the next thing we have here are the Biospawn Exoswims. One's a green pumpkin. One's electric shad. I had to get it in the green pumpkin color. I have to get numerous and numerous amounts of paddle tail, swim bait, whatever you want to call them. They come in at eight packs, 3.25 inch. I'm upset. I was just going over the footage and for some reason, the camera stopped recording right after I was telling you about the exo swims. Yeah, so I got it in the green pumpkin color and the electric shad color. They both come in at eight pack. Um, can't have enough swim baits in your arsenal, especially in this kind of color. They catch everything. They catch, um, you know, pickerel. They catch bass. They catch everything. And you can use them on a trailer. You can Texas style rig them. You can uh, throw them weightless. You can put them on a jig head. You can put them on weighted, um, whatever. There's so many things you could do with these. It's uh, unreal. You can put on a swim jig. That being said, this. The next product is similar to the Exo Swim, but it's by Guggen Squad. Guggen Squad came out with their style uh, swim bait or paddle tail, and it's called the Saucy Swimmer. They come in 3.3 inches, and again, I had to get the green pumpkin with the blue flake and the green pumpkin pearl. This is the green pumpkin pearl. As you can see, it's a white kind of back, and then this kind of, you can kind of see yeah, you can kind of see like the blue flakes. Anyway, um, I got these two mainly because I want to kind of do a, I want to kind of do a, I want to do a comparison video between these two. Does Guggen actually live up to their name or can you go with the competitor? Competition. As soon as spring hits, I will definitely be putting out bass fishing videos and all that good stuff. Moving on. Now this next bait is something that got me into bass fishing. That being the Gary Yamamoto Senko. Now the Gary Yamamoto Senko is literally the gateway artificial bait for me. Green pumpkin, watermelon flake, and the Houdini color. I've never used this Houdini color before. Uh, they're both five inches. They have 10 in each pack. And like I said, everyone knows what a Gary Yamamoto Senko is. It's literally what got me into bass fishing. I started off using worms, I was using minnows, I was using all live bait. And this was the thing that got me into the artificial world. It was the gateway bait for me. But let's just keep going. 
And last but not least, another Gary Yamamoto bait is called the Zacco Swim Bait. The Zacco Swim Bait, I got it in a green pumpkin, black flake. Shocker, right? Yeah. Where I will be primarily throwing these, I don't have a boat, so unless I'm on a boat, I'll be fishing everything by land. I'll be fishing them by docks, by pylons, over beds for bed fishing. But a swim bait is kind of like all year round, you can kind of throw these. It, it imitates a bluegill, it imitates shad. You know, you can slow roll it, you can jerk it, you can fast retrieve it. I mean, dead stick it on the bottom. All over the world, is it's just a whole different scene wherever you are. You just gotta figure out what works best for you. But yeah, um, like I said, I'll definitely do a comparison video and more in-depth video on how to use it, how to rig it. If you like what you're seeing today, hit that subscribe button for me, please. I really appreciate it. Spawn is quickly approaching as, as well as spring. Um, I'll be fishing for striper, I'll be fishing for bass, pickerel, uh, you name it. I mean, during the summertime when that kind of go comes around, I'll be fishing for sharks. I'll be fishing for snake heads. I'll be fishing for everything, crappie. I'll, I'll be doing it all. Shop Carl's, I, I really appreciate you guys, you know, being a thing. Um, Without you, I would have never had all these baits, and I would have never thought into buying any of this stuff if it wasn't for you guys, as well as Mystery Tackle Box. I was introduced to most of these baits from Mystery Tackle Box. I hope you guys liked today's video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment, and until the next one, guys, I'll catch you. Freaking jeez, I can't say it. 10,000 fists. Him, bro like what the f <laughs> say it right all right what we have here is the 10,000 fish <laughs> I still can't say it dude <laughs> all right I'll be I'll be trying to find some deep deep water and just toss it in there but you got to figure out work what um, like I said you can look forward to some com Oh my god.